excited about today. I'm not there with you. I am in Orlando, Florida with my pastor. I've been in three services with him. It's been so powerful. You know, sometimes your pastor needs to go be with his pastor. But I am praying for you today. Uh, I am trusting that you're going to have a phenomenal time. Our friends from the bus ministry, uh, all the city church family, including the bus ministry family, uh, Eric Spencer, our music director, Andrew Watley is going to bring a word. It's going to be so great. Remember, when you end a year, it's important how you exit something. Exit with praise. Exit with gratitude. Exit with thankfulness. No longer is it the beginning of a new year and a new season, but it is the ending of an old year. The ending of an old season. The ending of an old pain. The ending of an old nightmare. The beginning of a new dream. A new hope. So let the past go today and get ready to launch into a great new thing. I will see you this my last Sunday to talk to you. Next Sunday I will be there in Dallas with you. God bless you. I love you, City Church. Praise the Lord. Everybody put your hands together and let's begin to worship the Lord in this place. God bless you.
Break every chain. 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 Now there's an army. strong this year yeah. in 2014. Yeah. We're going to come into 2015 God doing something great in your life. But we're going to finish strong in 2014. Amen. And I'm going to talk to you about that here in just a few minutes. Because God's going to do something so great 2015 is going to be a great year of favor and grace in your life. But we're not going to leave 2014 without finishing strong. But we're not going to leave this moment of worship. Because God's going to do something very special in our lives. You know, in the, in the moments of prayer back there, I begin to sense that 
God wanted to touch my life and your life. And I knew one thing today as I begin to minister in the place of Pastor Jeff. What an honor it is always stand in his place. What a great pastor he is. When he's not here, we can, I can stand in his place. and we miss him, I definitely can't fill his shoes, of course. But it's an honor to stand here. But I knew one thing today about your life, and I want to encourage you this as I look at you and you're standing up still, that if you are still standing here today in 2014, there's a purpose for your life going in 2015. God has a plan for you. He's numbered the hair on your head. He knows your fingerprint. He knows your voice. He has not forgotten one thing that he has promised you. One dream that has been in your heart. God has not forgotten. When you're standing up today, you're still standing for a reason. You made it this year. We made it. It's the last Sunday of the year. And I felt God say this when we were standing back there in prayer. City Church, we're still standing. Fernando, you're still standing. No weapon formed against you can prosper. You're still standing. You're still standing. City Church, we're going to finish strong in 2014. There's a purpose for our life. Before I come to minister, we're going to begin to worship just a few moments longer. And I want you to keep that in mind. You're still standing. God has got a purpose for your life as you're coming in to 2015.
between pastor and me and still get up here and continue to sing, I can't do that. So... <laughs> Isn't that good? Put your hands together for Eric, our music minister. Larry, our city music minister on the drums. Yay. Danielle on the drums. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and our worship team. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're here today. Uh, let's get Paul to tell us about this uh, jazz record that they made that's uh, benefiting the homeless. Hang on just a second. Let him tell you about it. Oh, you want me to take the floor now? Okay. Okay, I don't know if you remember from last week. I had some of these uh, CDs. Uh, a group, myself and some Christian musicians, got together in the studio, and we put together a, a jazz CD uh, to benefit the homeless in the Dallas chapter, and Austin Street is uh, benefiting from that. And all of the proceeds uh, will go to the, the, ba the hub over at the uh, Fellowship Bible Church Dallas off of Park Lane. And what they do is they distribute that funds to the homeless chapter in the DFW area. And uh, I'm not in this to make money. Matter of fact, we all got together and donated all of our time to do this because we, we wanted to do this for a great cause. And uh, they're asking... $10 for a CD, but you know what? Any donations will help. If you don't have a donation, we're going to give you one. Okay? All right. That goes for a great cause. So stop by and see that table on your way out. Praise the Lord. Good stuff. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm going to talk to you just for a few minutes about finishing strong this year in 2014. This is the last Sunday of the year, and I want to encourage you about that today, if I could just for a few minutes. I thought about this a little bit last night when I had talked to Pastor, and I had told me, he had asked me if I would fill the pulpit, what an honor it is today. Thank you, Pastor Jeff Ferguson. I think we get so excited about going into 2015, and I'm going to talk to you about going into 2015, and when I feel like that God has laid on my heart regarding 2015, but I want to encourage you before you enter 2015 not to give up on 2014. We have a few days left in 2014, and I want to encourage you to finish strong. Regardless of your situation in 2014, regardless of the few things that are going on in your life in 2014, do not exit this year without letting go of some of the things that may be holding you here in 2014. Let me give you some example. Philippians 3.13 says, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself taken hold of but one, not one thing I do, forgetting what is behind, yet towards forget, towards not what is ahead. I'm going to for not forget the things that are behind in 2014, but looking forward to 2015. But in 2014, if there's anything, and forgiveness. If there's bitterness, anger, resentment, hurt, or any failures that you feel like in 2014, today, on this last Sunday of the year, let's leave them here today at City Church of Dallas. And we're going to finish strong, and we're going to exit and move forward in 2014 into 2015 by finishing strong and not going into that year with those things. If you feel like there has been hurt in your life, let's not take those in to 2015. If you have resentment because there has been something that has gone wrong, don't take those in to 2015. If there has been some kind of failure that you think you have done, don't take those in to 2015. If there has been some kind of unforgiveness in your heart, don't take those in to 2015. If I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to myself, of course. 
there's been anything of envy or anger, don't take those in to 2015. I encourage you to finish strong in this year. As I begin to pray in that room that today, and I looked at you and I saw you all standing up here today, there is such purpose and there is such greatness in each and every one of your life. It's not based today just on your financial situation or where you are living, if you're in Austin Street Shelter, or what kind of car that you are driving. You can finish strong this year. Regardless of the dream that's in your start, you can finish strong this year. Just for that few minutes, Donna, that was encouraging you. God has numbered the very hair on your head. He knows you by your name, Rob. He knows your voice, Shaw, when you cry out to him. Finish this year strong. If you have been in corporate prayer on Tuesdays, we have been going to declare that, to finish this year strong. Don't give up on this last four days of 2014. Exit this year. Get those things that are from behind. Get those things out of our hearts and our lives. Exit that things of anger and bitterness and resentment. Take those things and for getting those things out of our lives, but finish those things strong knowing there is a purpose and a plan for your life, knowing I'm going to step into 2015, all that God has for my life and all that God has purposed and planned for my life. Finish that race of 2014 strong, knowing that God's plans for me are great. What does Romans 8.28 say? God's plans. What is, his, what, is, what is it? All things work together for my good. Regardless of what things that happened in 2014 in my life, mom's life, Laura's life, our things didn't seem like it turned out like we all wanted. But I'm going to exit this year strong. Exit your year strong. Step into 2014 with a fresh year and a new season. Let it be a new day of a new purpose. Take those next four days and finish the race strong of this year. I'm not going to step in with unforgiveness. I'm not going to step in in anger and resentment and bitterness, but I'm going to finish the year strong. God's plans are great for you. And you're going to step into it in a great year. How many believe that you're going to have a great year in 2015? I believe God's got great plans for you. City Church, God's got something great for you. God's great, great plans for you. Let me tell you what's going to happen in 2015. Are you ready to hear what's going to happen in 2015? I believe God's going to do something in 2015 for you. And it's going to be a year of great God's great, great grace in 2015. I believe God's going to have great abundance of grace for your life in 2015. I believe it's going to be an act of God's great grace. I was praying last night and I said, God, what's going to happen for City Church in 2015? And I believe it's going to be a year of great grace and great rest for City Church in 2015. I believe that we are going to see God do something in City Church, in the lives of these people in 2015. I believe doors are going to begin to open in your life. I believe double portions are going to happen in this church in 2015. It's an act of God's grace and great favor in 2015, just like Isaac, just like Abraham, and just like Jacob. The same things that happened for them is going to happen in our lives in 2015. All those blessings that happened in their lives in those days in 2015 is what's going to happen in our lives in 2015. And we can enter also in, the, in 2015 in the days of rest and healing and financially and in our relationships and spiritually. We can enter into those days in 2015. It's going to be a year of door, double portion. If we can exit those, that year of 2015, 14, and step into that year of 2015 in great grace and great favor, 
I believe God is going to do something supernaturally in a double portion of grace and favor in our lives in 2015. How many believe God wants to do that in your life, in the City Church's life in 2015? You know, I think it was when I was reading on the number of 15, 15 means those two things, the year of rest and a year of great favor and grace. And so, you know, there's numbers. Numbers are so important to God. And I believe we begin to research those numbers, and I thought, rest. Who needs rest? And you think rest just means just laying down and sleeping. It doesn't mean that, just laying down or sleeping. Rest. You know, rest in your rest in your finances. Rest in your relationship. Rest. You can rest in the Lord, knowing that He is going to do something financially, do something in your body, do something in your health. That is so powerful. That's what the number fifteen means as well. Not just the act of God's grace and God's favor, but it also means rest. So, two thousand and fifteen is a year of rest. 2015, the act of God's great grace and favor. So we can exit 2015 by fin- 14 by finishing strong. We're going to exit, come into 2015 in a year of great grace and great favor and rest. What a mighty God we serve. And to a great year, a great favor, great grace, and great rest. The goodness of God, the favor of God, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of rest, of healing in our relationships, healing in our bodies, healing financially. 2015 can hold such greatness in the lives of City Church, in the lives of individually if we can hold on to what that year can hold to each and every one of you if you will exit 2014 like I've encouraged you to do if you can hold on to what 2015 will mean for your life research it yourself the act of God's great grace and favor It's the the year of rest. Finish strong in your life. Knowing there's a calling and a purpose in your life. Letting go, forgetting those things behind that were of 2014. Forgetting it. Letting all those things that did not happen, letting it go. Forgetting it. Letting go of all the garbage, letting go of all those things that have been holding you back in 2014, the broken dreams, the broken relationships, but finishing strong knowing that you are created in the image of the Most High God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are a child of the Most High God. You woke up this morning in your right mind. You are still standing. You are still breathing. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you and quickens your mortal body. You woke up and you dressed yourself this morning. You are thinking. You are talking. You can walk. You can move your limbs. You may not be in the place you want to be, but you can finish strong. You are alive. You are well in the land of the living. Living. You can finish strong this year. His plans are great for your life. Finish strong in 2014. Walk into 2015 knowing that his grace abounds much. He wants a double portion grace for you in 2015. He wants favor for your life in 2015. He wants you to live in that rest in 2015. Healing financially in your relationships. He wants greatness for your life in 2015. But you've got to finish strong in 2014.
14. Can you do that, City Church? Put your hands together. Stand to your feet. Let's give God some praise in this place. I want you to get excited about what God has in store for you because God wants healing for your body, Donna. He wants to break through for your life, Austin Street. He wants to do something for you. He wants you to finish strong. How many want God to do something special in your life? How many wants to finish strong in 2014? How many wants God to do something amazing in 2014? Is that abounding grace? Is that abounding grace? I believe God is going to do something special for this house specifically. I believe that God in 2015 is going to begin to open doors for City Church of Dallas that have been shut. I believe prophetically that the things that have been shut for this house, God's going to begin to open in 2015 that we're going to see a double portion of God's favor and grace in 2015 for City Church of Dallas. And that every person that has been under, is under this umbrella in 2015, that we're going to experience grace and favor under this house. That God is going to do something supernaturally at City Church of Dallas in 2015 we are going to walk in a level of grace and favor in 2015 at City Church of Dallas the pastor, this church corporately and individually in 2015 this church and this ministry is going to step into a level of great, great grace supernatural favor in 2015. And what has seemed to be impossible is going to become possible. Breakthroughs are going to begin to happen in the lives of people in this house. 2015 is going to be a great, great year of the act of God's great grace over this house and over this ministry and over the people of this house. Healing is going to take place in this house. Breakthroughs are going to happen in this house. Healings are going to take place. Financial breakthroughs are going to happen in this house. 2015 is going to be a year of great grace in this house. God is going to move supernaturally in the lives of his people. We're going to see something supernatural happen. A shifting is going to take place over City Church of Dallas in the lives of the people. Double portion is going to take place. 2015 is going to be the year for City Church of Dallas. I thank you, God. I thank you for the people. I think these people are going to see grace abound so great in their lives in 2015. I thank you, God, that it's going to be a great year of grace and great year of favor is coming upon your people in 2015. I thank you that favor is coming upon your people just like Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Father, I thank you, God, that grace and favor is coming upon your people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you that an outpouring of your spirit is coming upon this house. I thank you, God, that we're stepping out of 2014, finishing strong because you have called us for such a time as this. That we're still standing. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. We praise you. Begin to worship God in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, God. Thank you, God, Josh. I thank you, God, Josh. Great favor is coming into your life. That everything you set your hands to is going to prosper. Great favor. 2015 is going to be a year of great favor for your life. God's going to open doors that no man can shut in your life. It's going to be a year of great favor for your life. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I worship you in this place. I thank you, God. I give you glory in this house. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. It's gonna be alright. It's a brand new. two things. Number one, if you're sick in your body and you need healing, you're not going to leave sick. So I need you to raise your hand. Raise your hand if you're sick in your body because you're going to leave 2014 healed and whole. I'm going to stretch your hands out. We're going to pray for you. Go to somebody. Mom, go to somebody. Laura, go to somebody. Peaches, go to somebody. Everybody. Everybody go to somebody. Mom. You got somebody? somebody I speak healing in Jesus name of your body I declare right now that you are the healed of God that by your stripes you are healed in Jesus name no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper that you are the healed of God in Jesus name 
I speak healing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet in Jesus' name. That you will leave this year healed and whole in Jesus' name. That you shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Second thing being, does anybody here, we're going to do an altar call. We're not going to exit this year not knowing the Lord. Greatest miracle of all is coming to the Lord. Healing, of course, I want to see everybody leave here whole and healed. The greatest miracle of all is coming to the Lord. So everybody close your eyes. personal, anybody need to come to the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior, I want you to raise your hand. The greatest miracle of all is knowing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. There's one hand over there to the left. Anybody else? Thank you, Jesus. I don't want you to exit this year not knowing the Lord as your Lord and Savior. Don't be afraid. Thank you, Jesus greatest gift of all. Oh, how he loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Say this prayer with me. Jesus, I believe that you are Lord. You are Lord. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life. Come into my life. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe you are the Son of God. And I accept you today. I accept you today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are victorious today. We are leaving 2014 strong. Ooh, yeah, yeah. You are a winner. I wanted you to know that you are a winner yeah. today. You are created in the image of God, and you are a winner. I believe in you. More than that, God believes in you. You are somebody so special. You are somebody so special. There's nobody like you. Charlene, there's nobody like you. You are so awesome, created in the image of God. Ethan, there's nobody like you. Amen. You're created in the image of God. There's nobody like you. You're so amazing. So much purpose in your life. Finish strong. I want to encourage you all to finish strong this year. Wake up in the morning with a smile on your face. Finish strong this year. Pursue the dream that God has placed in your heart. Finish strong. I love you. More than that, God loves you. It's time to sow. It's time to give. Get your tithe ready. Get your offering ready. Give unto the Lord. Put your seed into the ground. If it's an offering, it's going to come back to you. Good measure, press down, shaking together. If it's an offering, this is your 10%, your tithe, excuse me, to the Lord. 
And this is a good thing to do is give to the Lord your time. As the ushers are giving, pass out the envelopes, raise your hand, and get your pen ready. Are you excited about 2015? Are you encouraged to exit this year finishing strong? Donna's still singing, and I love that. Isn't God good? He's a good God. I want you to put your hands together for our worship team, our worship singer. <laughs> I want you to know how much I love you. Pastor loves you. God loves you. Be encouraged. It's going to be a good year. Yes, it is. God's got good things in store for you. Breakthroughs and freedoms and rest and great grace and favor are on their way. Exit this year strong. I love you. God's got great things in store for you. How many believe it's going to be a good year in 2015. How many believe you're going to walk in great favor and great grace in 2015? How many is going to walk and finish this year strong in 2014? Put your hands together and let's give God some praise at City Church of Dallas. I want to bless you before you leave. I want to thank you all of you that are watching via live stream today at City Church of Dallas and I believe that God has got amazing things for your life. Thank all of you that sow and that give to City Church of Dallas. I want to encourage you today too to continue to believe God for everything in your life. God has got great amazing things in store for your life. Finish strong. 
God has got great things on the horizon for your life as well, too. God bless you all. Thank you for supporting City Church in Dallas. Thank you for all that you do for us at City Church as well, too. God bless you. I love you all. Put your hands together. I want to bless you before you leave. Put your hands, Evan. Lord, I thank you for this church. I thank you for the people of City Church of Dallas. I thank you, God, that you are going to move in their life in 2015. I thank you, God, that they are going to finish strong. I thank you that you have not forgotten one promise in their life. I thank you, God, before this year is out, in the next four days, I ask you, God, that you would do something spectacular in their life. I ask you, God, for something special for them in the next four days. I thank you for these sweet people. I thank you, God, for healing bodies today. I thank you for the salvations today. I thank you that your love is amazing, that your grace abounds much in Jesus' name. I speak breakthrough and freedom over their life today in Jesus' name. I ask you to protect our people, keep them safe in Jesus' name, and I speak the blessing of the Lord over their, lo their life in Jesus' name. Put your hands together and give Eric Spencer, our music minister, and our worship team some great hand of applause and give Jesus, our Lord and Savior, a greater hand of applause. I love you. God bless you. Finish strong in Jesus' name.